Hello everybody, and welcome back to Need for Speed Carbon. This is Tater Tot. We are at episode 4 now, we're really getting along here. Um, the thing, uh, between episodes I didn't do a whole lot to my car. I upgraded my NOS, upgraded my tires, and I put pro brakes on. But other than that, it's exactly the same. But, uh, I'm gonna be unlocking some more stuff this episode, so I'm excited about that. Again, I'm probably not going to keep this car for too long, but at the moment, I can't get really any better ones. So, I'm just going to keep building this one until a better one comes along. But anyway, let's hop right into it. Uh, I kind of want to finish one of these today. That's two sprints. Maybe we'll do like one and a half. So, I don't know. Let's just start with this one. Engines. That's a good thing to get. We're just going to jump there. Auto sculpt. I was gonna mess around with the auto sculpt between episodes, but I forgot. So maybe I'll do it after this episode. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when I when I played through it before, I used to do everything in auto sculpt. I, all my bumpers, my wheels, and everything. It was awesome. It's really fun too. Three, two, one, go. Wow, they're kind of they're kind of quick off the line. Ooh, it has been a scorcher here recently in Portland, Oregon. The last couple days, it's been over 100 degrees, which is weird for us. Really weird. Over 100 degrees is like ridiculously hot for this area. You know, I know some of you watching are probably like, "Well, I live in Arizona and it's 115 10 months out of the year." Okay, well, it's not here. I mean. We're used to 80s, like low 90s during the summer, that's pretty normal, but consecutive days with like heat warnings is just weird. We're, we're used to like having 10 months of winter and then having 2 months of summer. So it's been super hot. I mean, I don't mind it, but at the same time, it's pretty freaking hot. And I work in a metal warehouse, so it's like. You know, if it's 100 degrees outside, it's like 110 in the little corner that I work in. So it gets pretty warm, but again, I don't really mind it so much. I'm not complaining. I would rather it be uh, 100 degrees than, I mean, pouring down rain in the middle of, or the end of July, I guess. First of August. My birthday is on Sunday, by the way. August 2nd super excited about that. It came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, hey, my birthday is coming up. That's cool. So we'll have, we'll have, you know, the family get together, and then we'll have the birthday party with all my buddies. So that'll be fun. I'm excited for that. That'll be happening this weekend. Oh, that's a tight corner. That is a tight corner. The cops aren't chasing me yet. They're, I mean, they're chasing somebody, but it's not me yet, at least, so that's good. I like that. Let's see if I can go this, like, complete this race without being chased by the cops. A lot of the races, uh, like, right when you finish, there'll be a cop waiting, and they'll, you'll start a pursuit, like, immediately after the race, or, like, right at the end of it. There goes Sal. Oh, see, I told you. Right at the end of the race. Oh, here's a cop that wants to chase you. Let's finish the race first, then we'll do the pursuit. That's a good looking car. They should bring those over here. I'm telling you. If they brought Fiat over here, they should bring Alpha. 7700 bucks. I now control that bit of territory. And somebody else now controls that bit of territory. Huh. Alright, well that's not gonna last very long, so I'm gonna control it here probably by the end of the episode. Alright, now all I gotta do is get away from the cops. Which, I mean, at my heat level, is not gonna be too hard. I guess I should probably explain that. The, if you look in the bottom left of your screen, right next to my, like, the map, on the left there, there's a little fire icon with a one above it. So that's your, like, your heat level. So if you get up into, like, 3, 4, 5, 
when you get into a pursuit, it's like immediately like five stars in GTA. It's like automatic helicopters and roadblocks and spike strips and stuff. So I haven't done, too, and it's like the more that you, uh, it's like the more that you, where is this cooldown spot? Oh, here it is. The more that you're in pursuits and you run from the cops and like the longer that the chases, oh, I didn't even get to it, the longer that the chases go on, the more heat level you get. And you can bring it back down by either customizing your car so you change the appearance of it, or I think you can pay money and bring it down as well and I think you can also get like special awards at the end of certain races that will bring it down for you but I mean I'm not too worried about it at the moment so that was a pretty fast pursuit not very eventful I knocked over one tower and then killed a cop cruiser so well that was a short race let's go back to the world map uh, let's do this one just so we can really complete the territory. Ooh, and I get flame vinyls. I'm not going to use them because I don't actually like flame vinyls, but might as well unlock them. I also get money, so that's good too. Ooh, I like this road. There was only four of us? Okay, whatever. It's me and three guys from a different crew. Oh, God, they're... Oh, jeez. Oh, they just messed each other up right there. Idiots. Oh, and I'm leading. Nice little canyon run. That sign said slow. I'm not gonna obey it, but it, that's what it said. It's like when you're on your motorcycle and, you know, signs say, oh, this corner is 35 miles an hour. And it's like, oh, 60? Okay. It's, it's weird. It's like speed signs for corners, you can do at least twice the speed that it recommends comfortably. No problem. If you know how to ride. But, I mean, there's always a risk involved, of course. Actually, I went on... I went on a ride with a couple of friends of mine, uh, what was that, Wednesday? And, uh, so there was six of us, and we didn't even get to the area where we were going to start, like, riding hard yet. Just came into a corner, just a normal corner we've all taken a hundred times, and one of my buddies came in a little hot. I mean, he wasn't doing anything, like, any ridiculous speeds. He was probably doing... I don't know, 80, and it's like a 40 mile an hour corner, so like I said, about double. And he just grabbed a little too much brake before he came into the corner, and his bike slid out right from under him. And he went into the ditch, and his bike went into the ditch, and he rolled probably uh, 10 times, and his bike was rolling about 4 feet behind him, and it rolled about 10 times, and uh, he just kind of got up and was like, yeah, I grabbed a little too much front brake. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, uh, are, you, are you good? He's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm fine. He was wearing a protective vest, like an armored vest, and helmet and gloves and pants and shoes and all that, but everything that wasn't his vest or under his helmet or his gloves was a scab. I mean, the skin on his arms is gone skin on his legs is gone and he's like oh yeah no I'm good and his bike was totally fucked and so we were kind of on a main road so he's like I'm just gonna ride it up there into the neighborhood I mean the first thing you got you kind of do when you crash like that is leave the scene automatically if cops show up it's just it, nothing good's gonna happen so he took his bike into this neighborhood and leaned it up against some random tree in a dirt patch and then started, you know, like, coming down from the adrenaline rush and realized now that his wrist is broken and he's hurting really bad and so, you know, it starts going into shock. We're going to do this checkpoint race. So we sat him down and 
you know, we had a, one of our buddies come out of the truck. We just threw the bike in the back, took him to the emergency room. Uh, he broke his wrist, broke his elbow, and he's got about a golf ball sized hole in his knee. I mean, it's like a gaping hole. Like, you can almost see his bone. I don't know how it happened, but it did. His phone is in about 50 pieces because it came out of his pocket because his pocket ripped open. His bike is not savable, but he had full coverage insurance, so they're just going to give him money for it. But anyway, he made it out all right. He's he's a hurting son of a bitch uh, since then, but he's doing just fine. He's totally. I mean, it's a ri I mean, it it happens. That shit happens. You ride. We all have sport bikes. And we like to go fast, and we like to do corners, and I mean that happens. It's happened to most of us so far, but. I mean, riding a bike like that, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and how bad it's going to be. He's wrecked that same bike probably three times. It just, stuff like that has happened. Like, he didn't really do, you know, he wasn't doing anything crazy. He just, some, you know, slipped out or whatever. And But he's going to make it. He'll be fine. He's pretty banged up, but he'll be all right. You know, we went, leaned his bike up against that tree and... He's just kind of staring there looking at it. And he goes, well, I guess it's time for Ducati. I'm like, uh, yeah, Sh whatever, dude. Yeah, you go ahead. So, I mean, I guess something good came out of it, right? But, I mean, after that, we were all just kind of like, yeah, well, maybe we should calm down a little bit. You know, that's probably going to last about two days. But... That's that's the risk you take riding a, riding a sport bike, or well, any motorcycle for that fact. Ma, my mom's totally fine with it. She, you know, when I was 18, I said, "Mom, I want to ride a motorcycle." She goes, "As long as you pay for everything, I have no problem with it." And then, you know, all of her coworkers and stuff are like, "Why aren't you, you know, you let him ride that thing and blah blah blah?" And she's like, "What do you mean, let him? He's over 18 years old. And he can make his his own decisions and." I mean, I trust that he's a good rider, and yeah, it makes me nervous, but <clears throat> that's just how it goes. Luckily, I've done pretty well so far. Knock on wood. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. God, these checkpoint races just aren't... I mean... They're kind of fun, but they're not as near as fun as like a normal race with a, a bunch of people in it, a circuit or a sprint or whatever. But, gotta do them. Gotta get that money, though. I don't know who started that, the whole dat dough thing. I have no idea, but I hate it when people use it like like seriously they use it as like a serious phrase god that's annoying i say it as a joke every once in a while but that's about as far as that goes hurry hey i made it <clears throat> 5200 bucks and i got suspension that's a good thing to have oh you just got this territory now it's mine and I got transmissions for it. Attention all units. Attention all units. Okay. Let's see if we can do a more upbeat and intense race. What's this? Circuit. That'll work. What do we get? I get hoods. I like hoods. Racing the purple and orange crew. I can't remember the name of it. But that's who we're racing. There goes Sal. Sal's pretty helpful, you know, when you first are playing the game because it's like you don't know where all the shortcuts and stuff are, but. After you have played it for a while, you pretty much know where they're all at. But 
like I said, I don't ever use a blocker if I have one active or a drafter, so might as well just keep Sal around or whoever happens to be the fastest scout at the time. Oh boy. He's, uh, he's so inconsistent. It, like, he just sped up, like, and started passing people. No big deal. Like, he could just win the race right now if he wanted to, but he hangs behind to help me out, I guess. I don't know. It's like one minute he's way back there, and all of a sudden, yum, there goes Sal. Oh, oh. Dude, 300C out of my way. I remember when those came out. This is like a, it was like a poor man's, I don't know, it was like a poor man's Bentley or something. I, don't know, I can't remember what it was, but. Oh, yep, missed that shortcut. But see, I got two laps, so next time, I'm going to take that shortcut. Log truck. If I do this, do I mess everyone up? Oh, jeez, I messed myself up. That's what I did. That's right, I'll come back. You're just supposed to kind of, you know, swipe the log trucks. Not, like, run right the fuck into the side of them, but, I mean, it worked. Oh, get out of my way! That was going to be a perfect apex, but no. Oh, that guy almost got in a head on. Oh, totally shot that gap. Yep, yep. Sal, get the fuck out of my way. Get a little moss in our system. This is the wrong one. Sorry, Sal. I'm just gonna jump my car. No big deal. Jesus Christ. That was aggressive. Must win the race. I can't lose now. I'm only four episodes in. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm catching him. Catching him. Oh boy, I might not be catching him. Nice. I don't know how close we are to the end, but Sal, get the fuck out of my way. Oh no. Oh no, that was the wrong decision. That was totally the wrong decision. I tried to make a snap judgment and I'm probably I'm gonna lose now. I just am. Why does everybody go through here? That doesn't seem like the fastest way to me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, it's over. I'm not coming back from that. It can't be that much. No, finish line's right there. Damn it! Whatever. I had to lose at some point. Let's do it again. I'm gonna do it again. We got time. Okay, round two. I'm just gonna... Yep, I'm, that's happening. Too soon, junior style. Okay, I gotta remember where that shortcut is, though. Because if I'm gonna take it, I need to know, like, where it's at. Because last race, I knew it was around there somewhere. Just not exactly where. And I was already kind of not taking it. And then I tried to take it, and it, it went bad. 
This time, though. This time, I'm gonna get first. First place. Guaranteed. I'll bet money on it. I'm not gonna bet money on it, but I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. Yep, right past him. Okay. I just gotta focus on not dying. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Take the outside. Hit that apex. And power out. There, that was a good point. There's the alley. Oh, jeez. Almost didn't make it again. What am I doing? Oh, yep, that stops me real quick. Okay, I'm not taking that fucking shortcut anymore. That shortcut sucks, Sal. Alley coming up on the right. Coming up on the right. What? No, 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 no. Nope, this isn't happening. Alright, I'm not taking any shortcuts on this track. This is bullshit. It's alright, I still got a whole nother line. I didn't lose that much time. Look, I'm already back in first. How about that? If only it would have worked like that the first race. One more lap to go. This is it. I gotta prove to myself that it was just... It was a freak thing. It had nothing to do with my driving skills. So anyway, that's why uh, I didn't upload Wednesday night, because I was out, I went for a motorcycle ride, and then I had to go to the hospital and bring my buddy's bike and drop it in his garage, and yada yada yada. So by the time I got home, I had to go to bed, because I had work in the morning. So that's why I didn't get to record. Wednesday. So, if you're paying real close attention to my scheduling of when my episodes come out, I apologize. It was it was a special situation. Sal, stop that. But yeah, no, I've been trying to upload uh, like Monday nights and Wednesday nights. So that by the time people actually see the episodes, it'll be Tuesday and Thursday. Is I don't know, I just feel like those are good days to have episodes to come out. I'll usually uh, like record and edit when I get home from work, and then I will render and upload uh, like while I'm sleeping. So then episodes come out. I mean, they come out technically Monday night and Wednesday night, but by the time anyone's watching them, it'll be Tuesday and Thursday. Because if I were to release them on Tuesday and Thursday, I would either have to wake up in the middle of the night and upload them, or uh, upload them at like, you know, 6 or 7 o'clock at night, which I don't want to do. Anyways, looks like we're about out of time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun doing this game so far. Every time I, I, you know, it's time for me to record and, and edit, I get really excited. And so I'm having lots of fun with it so far. And uh, I hope you guys are, are enjoying it too. Anyways, that's going to be all for today. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in episode 5.